Hello, my name is Afra Mashadi, and I'm here to present our paper on integrating fairness visualization tools in machine learning education on behalf of my collaborators, Jay Quadrado and Anishka Zoloimi. In the past decade, technologies have created machine learning applications and underlying artificial intelligence systems. And these systems have become increasingly di uh, diverse and uh, integrated into our daily lives. These models are now uh, being used for decision making in many different scenarios, including filtering uh, loan applicants and allocating policing to areas of the crime and informing decisions such as bail and parole decisions. Um, we have heard a lot from the researchers and technologists and media that have expressed significant concern about the potentials of these data-driven methods to introduce and perpetuate discriminatory and unfair practices. However, however there's been very little attention into how can we teach fairness to undergraduate students in computer science. In this study, we aim to explore uh, how we can um, integrate tools into, being, into our curriculum so we can actually create a deeper reflection of fairness topics for uh, novice machine learning students. Uh, we want to be able to create opportunities for students to uh, work together and a platform for active learning. And we wanted to see whether um, integrating of these tools would enable us to foster opportunities for students to hold uh, ethical debates and uh, discussions through exploratory analysis. Some of our findings have demonstrated that the student learning was reinforced through the use of interactive tools and the tools that allow users to uh, examine custom high dimensional data sets. In particular, in, a, in order to um, study our, the uh, integration of tools in uh, teaching students about fairness in machine learning, we uh, studied uh, four focus groups composed of 20 undergraduate students at the University of Washington, Buffalo. The students were novice um, users of uh, machine learning and uh, they were uh, all taking a course in fairness in machine learning. Um, we formed four focus groups and the students uh, were asked to review uh, three fairness tools, so to look for three fairness tools that met a specific selection criteria. And we wanted to know what aspects of each tool do, do they believe that it contributed to their learning? What aspects of each tool did they find challenging? And what, are, what were the opportunities that could help to improve the tools to integrate it into the machine learning curriculum? The students reviewed six existing tools uh, as a whole uh, in total. And uh, this, uh, these tools were designed to assess particularly the algorithmic fairnesses. We asked the students to, for their selection criteria of the tools to focus on the tools that are open source and freely available and can be uh, design and are designed uh, for the fairness assessment and uh, the tools should have the main visualization component and not only offer statistical information. So our hypothesis was that the more interactive and uh, the more the visualization component of the tool, it helps uh, students to understand better the consequences of the unfair algorithms. As a result, our students reviewed six tools. You can find more information about these tools in, the, uh, in our website, uh, where uh, I will demonstrate uh, at the end, and also in our paper. Uh, here are the tools that we reviewed, AI Fairness 360, Biocotus, Daleks, FairLearn by Microsoft Research, and what if tool by Google. 
I'm not going to go into details of these tools. You can find information about uh, what fairness criteria they offer and what are the requirements of these uh, tools in terms of packages and so on, and also what visualization they offer into our, in our paper. Here are some of our important findings from studying these tools. Uh, one, one of our important findings is in regard with transparency. Um, our qualitative uh, interviews and surveys with our focus group showed that a key limitation of the machine learning fairness tools was a lack of transparency and ex ex explainability. The students reported that the tools that offer mitigation techniques were the ones most lacking in terms of the insights into how mitigation techniques worked. For instance, the students found that AI uh, Fairness 360 uh, pre-processing mitigation techniques for, um, for matching the pre-processing fairness were not really transparent at all about how the data was actually reweighted and uh, distributed to create a fairer model. Our student found that uh, educational component mainly lacking in terms of the, what the tools offered. The second important uh, theme that emerged from our focus groups was that the students' uh, learning was limited by the integrated data sets of the tools and the inability to import custom data sets. Indeed, the majority of fairness literature tools and tutorials rely on a handful of common sourced uh, data sets from UCI. Our focus groups highlighted that the integration of high dimensional data, such as images into tools, was a high priority need for students. It is worth mentioning that out of all the tools that we surveyed, only the what if tool provided the ability to import high dimensional data into the tool. Allowing for high dimensional custom data enables the students to better apply their uh, technical competencies and to discover more relevant um, and modern uh, issues that are emerging with, with, on, with, with fairness and, for example, such as face recognitions and so on. Finally, the final theme that emerged from our focus groups was that the student learning was impacted by the tools visualization styles and presentation of fairness criteria.